again. Now, today we will look at uh, the transition metals. So transition metals are the elements which are found between group one, group two, sorry rather, they are found between group two and group three. Example, there is copper, copper, the symbol for copper is Cu, ion, Fe, then lead, which is Pb. And if you look at the transition metals again, they have high densities, they have high melting points and boiling points, they also conduct electricity and heat. So if you look at these properties, these are just the, the general properties that every other metal, uh, apart from the transition metals, will, will ha they will have. But in the exam, they will need a typical properties for transition metals. So I, I, I don't expect you, or we don't expect you as the examiners, to give us the the general properties of metals like they have high melting point and boiling point they conduct we need the very special properties for these transition metals or elements so i different I, I separated the properties now we look at the i will say they are special or let's say typical for transition metals that differentiate uh, these transition metals from another group of metals. So if you look at the transition metals, they and their compounds can be used as catalysts. We know catalysts, they do what? Catalysts, the purpose, they speed up the chemical reactions. They speed up chemical reactions. So most of transition metals, they can be used to speed up the chemical reaction. And the other important property is that ion is that transition metals sorry they form colored compounds they form colored compounds for example if you look at the copper copper will form compounds which are blue in color and then we can have iron 2 sulfate iron 2 sulfate is usually pale green uh, the other property again is that the transition metals they have variable valences Valencies means the oxidation state or the charge. Oxidation state or the charge. For example, we can have copper one, we can have Cu plus, this is copper one. And then we can have also copper two, which is Cu plus two, this is copper two. So you see that they form Transition metals form compounds with variable or with different oxidation state. Also, we can have ion 2, which is Fe plus 2. We can also have ion 3, which is Fe 3 plus or plus 3. Another important thing is that if you are to write the charge, of the of the transition metals the charge is normally written in bracket after the name you put brackets and then you put the charge as numerals okay you see that you write it as numerals so you don't have to say copper then the two inside so you write the charge of transition metals as numerals that is what I had for you today about the transition metals. Have a blessed day.